Good evening, folks. My name is Peter Curtin, and I'd like to welcome you all to this feast of traditional Irish music on the great day for Irish people in Ireland and abroad, all over the world. Paddy's Day, we call it. And uh, soon I'll be introducing you to the first musicians that will play. So what you need to do now is you need to put the feet up, you need to kick up, maybe get a little small something to sit beside you on the glass, something to keep you cheerful and merry and absolutely enjoy what's coming up for the next five hours of absolutely wonderful Irish music. And without, as, as they used to say, without further ado, I have a couple of decent guys here that I know for five or six decades at this stage, unfortunately that long. And uh, here immediately beside me is Christy Barry on the, on the flute and his good friend they've been playing together. They're like Siamese twins joined at the hip at this stage. Is James Devitt on the fiddle, the violin, as you might call it, if you were in another part of the world. And these guys have been playing in the Roadside Tavern pub up the road from where we are here. And also they've been on lots of occasions known to play in a, in a music venue called the Doolan Music House. So less of me and more of the music, enjoy. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to stop off here. We hope you enjoy the next uh, 30 or 40 minutes. And we hope you're going, having a good St. Paddy's Day. Everywhere around the world, we wish you the best. We're going to stop off with a few jigs. We're going to keep them local as well because we've been playing around here and we have our own style around this side of the country. So we, we'll try and keep it that way. First tune is called The Humours of Inner Diamond, and the second one is Out in the Ocean. So here we go.
Thank you very much. That uh, was two, two very old little jigs uh, that we play. And that was kind of at the pace and style that we played here in, in the past. And we, we, are, we are from the past, really, I suppose. And uh, we, were, we hung around with great old musicians like Mickey and Conlon and, and the Russell Brothers and the Kalouris and all those guys that played in Dool and, and here at the Roadside Tavern. So I remember when we were kids there. The Roadside Tavern and, and O'Connor's Pub were the two places we'd go to. That's, you'd always have music in both of those places and a great welcome as well. So today is a good day to celebrate with them. It's unusually quiet today for St. Paddy's Day, but sure, that's the way it is. Anyway, we'll continue on now with uh, uh, a little tune, and, and it's called the Battle of Akram. And the Battle of Akram, of course, has gone back a couple of hundred years, and that in, we had a lot of people from around here who fought at the Battle of Akram, and that. And these are the kind of days, I suppose, that your history is important, you know, St. Patrick's Day, with lots of stuff comes up, the storytelling and all that. Uh, anyway, we'll do this. It's, a, it's called the Battle of Akram, and we'll pop into a, a real, a nice, lively tune after it. It's called Dennis Ryan, who was a great fiddle player from the Midlands, and he used to come down around here playing Mountain, and everyone adopted that tune that he played. It's a lovely tune. Nice tune there, nice, nice, and uh, they, they played very gently, the people, when there wasn't anybody dancing, they just played for people to listen to them, so uh, when, when the people got up to dance, people just speeded up the music a little bit and got the session going a bit better, you know, so uh, we, did, we like to play the tune just for the soul of the tune, and, and we enjoy playing the tunes, and we hope you enjoy yourself out there in, in, in in the world today, we hope you're all happy and we, we wish everyone luck, as we say, in all the 
the good and bad things that's going on out there, we, we hope they'll improve, and they, they, can only, they can only improve, should I suppose, and with a lot, you, you'll always have good hope. We have great scientists and we have everything nowadays, so we'll have no problem, I think, with uh, getting well and back, to, back, back normal soon. So I, I'll just take a little drink of water now. And anyway, around here they, they had all kinds of storytellers, of course, and everything like that. We, as kids, you could, you'd be kind of trying to remember what, who was the different fellas that you liked and who you, your favourites were and who you enjoyed most and all that. But there was a fellow here called Mickey Lane Condlin here. He was fantastic. He was here at the roadside for over 50 years. And he was, he was a fantastic player. And he played concertina and accordion. And you'll see he's, he's a neighbour. you later on tonight, Johnny, I think. He might, he might be playing here. He plays the accordion. There were great musicians uh, you had the Heinz brothers here. You had all these great musicians coming out there. And I suppose when you're young, you take all these lads for granted. There was so much talent around this side of the country. You take them for granted. Anyway, myself and James started up a thing called the Doolan Music House above with, with Sheila. Sheila's my partner. So we decided we'd start kind of going back over the time and talking and talking stories, telling stories about the Russells and the people that we loved, I suppose and they were a part of our childhood. So we're trying to keep them alive by in the mu Dolan Music House, and it's only up the road, it's only halfway between the Roadside Tavern and O'Connor's Pub. So you can drop in if you feel like it, and, uh, and hear our, what we do, nice and relaxed, no excitement, we don't panic or anything like that. So, anyway, we'll play a little horn pipe for you now. And, uh, and uh, it's a lovely little, it's, 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 uh, it's called the Flowing Tide. So if you notice the names of the tunes, <laughs> has a lot to do with the ocean and, and our surroundings. We have tunes like Devaney's Goat and we have all this kind of stuff. But their local names probably they were put on the tunes years ago. You know, it would be about the west of Ireland and not the, the northwest here of County Clare and that kind of thing. So here we'll play this lovely little horn pipe for you now. You can relax. Don't get up and dance to this one. It's, not a <laughs> it's a nice relaxed one.
It, uh, that one didn't go so great for us now, that last one. We're going to play uh, a few reels now. Uh, the the Mayor of Mount Cisco, is it? And, uh, George White. And, and George White's favourite. Uh, the, these are two reels that were played here a lot. And uh, they'll be dance tunes, I suppose, more, more than anything else. Uh, they, they, they wouldn't be, you'd have to play them fairly lively, kind of. There'd be different kinds of types of tunes that you'd have to play, and you'd have to play them fast and slow like that. So we're going to try these two, two anyway. We'll give it a shot in here. Twice as well. <laughs> Lively dance tunes and the nice and sweet. We flute and fiddle were like the kind of the two instruments that were played around here regularly. They were a great matchup. People always liked the and you'd have the tin whistle and you'd have the concertina sometimes, you know. So they'd match up different instruments. And the fiddle and of course the fiddle would kind of match in with anything, so it would be played with the cardine as well. And the flute and the cardine kind of was okay, but I think the two best were the but what about the fiddle and the flute? Anyway, as Peter was saying there at the start, we've been around here for years and years, so we haven't much playing done this year now, to be honest, but we, we you know, you can't do nothing with this, with this pandemic thing, but uh, we, we just kind of call each other on the phone, maybe swap a tune or something. But there's nothing like the real thing when you're sitting down with people playing and the company and the storytelling and all that. It's a great thing. You know, fantastic thing, and without that, you you know you take people for granted when you have them. But it's, it's a great thing when you when you when you when you have them around you, though, when you because then you realise how valuable people are to each other and all that kind of thing. You know, so it's important that we all help each other out as good as we can and do all that kind of thing. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to play the the spoons, you know, and James will. Uh, We'll play a, a bit of a read for us. 
and we'll see how we get on. The, we, we weren't going to play the spoons, but the, which they're kind of unique, the spoons, anymore, because you don't see too many people playing them. But they were a part of the sessions years ago. They were great. If you want to be at it, though, when you're about 10 people would join in, sometimes they were terrible. They'd, they'd make off noise with them. And so a lot of people would turn against them. But if you play them nice and easy and tasty, they aren't too bad, you know? So we'll see them now, how we get on. Oh, pizza. We used to use them, and we'd have a bow on as well around here one time, and we'd have, uh, you'd have you'd, there were lovely little, you know, little rhythms going on. Do, everyone had their own kind of rhythm and approached it, so it wouldn't suit every style. These spoons or, or the bow on wouldn't suit every style either, you know. So we'd be playing them away, and we'd, have, we'd, we'd, we'd be trying to figure out and try and put it all together. And that was the, that was the great thing about a session. Everyone would come in into the session. And they might all have different styles, but after a couple of days, drinking plenty of porter and playing tunes, it would all come together. And, uh, and everyone would be playing the same. And you'd brilliant. That's the time you'd, the whole thing it, it would be highlighted when, 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 the, when the thing had started to come together. So it was fantastic. Anyway, so that's, that's the way it was. So We're going to play two tunes now, two nice little jigs. The Teller I Am and... The cat's meow. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll go for these. Uh, we play we play them a lot, like because they they're very nice tunes, you know. So you, the nice ones stick with you sometimes, and sometimes the hard ones, the ones that we, you don't really like, they kind of slip you, and you mightn't think of them at all. That's the way it goes. So we'll do a tune called "Tell Her I Am," and the cat's meow okay. was written by a girl beyond in New York. Her name was Johnny Madden. I think.
Thank you, Christy. Very good. Anyway. Blair, is that it? Um, I think we have uh, our little show done now, and uh, we're very we're delighted that we got a chance to, to play here today, and we hope you enjoyed it and all that. Um, hope you could come and see us at the Doolan Music or also you might find us here on the roadside tavern during the summer if we get back to normality or you could find us out in Doolan so you'll have a choice thank you very much and enjoy the rest of St Paddy's Day happy St Paddy's Day bye bye